What's up guys, it's Brian from Beat Turismo and right now I'm driving. It's Sunday night. It's quarter to nine. I have to work today, which I don't normally work weekends, so it's a bit of an exception. Um, there's a line of storms coming and I keep looking to my right to see if there's anything to see. I guess I'll put the windows up, I don't know. That should be a good test of the, uh, the noise. Whoa, gotta turn that down, huh? Check this out. Of course, that's their tent. Okay, there's houses and trees. Look at that sky out there. And the reason I started recording is because I'm about to go up the mountain, and I think from the mountain, there might be a decent view. And I also needed some test footage try out with the new software. Oh, and it's a new camera, and I haven't really had a chance to try it yet. Check out this nice crack in the windshield. Pretty good view there. There's nobody behind me, so I'm just gonna kind of roll through this here slowly. All right, now we're turning back towards the storm, essentially, sort of. Go down the hill. and you have an F-150 with HID projectors from the factory. 
Are your headlights this bad? Or is it just mine? And I'm not being funny or, or making a joke. I really think they're not that good. The only time these headlights are good are, for my eyes anyway, when there's no other lights around and it's the only thing lighting up anything anywhere. Otherwise, the other cars in the house, at the house, are so much better. And for a vehicle that tows, why does it not have auto leveling headlights? Alright, I'm hoping you can see this guy. The sky meets the ground out there, or at least the clouds do. Oh boy. I suspect it's going to be ugly. And now I'm going right into the mouth of this thing. I checked the radar and it looks like, um, it, it looks like it will hit where I live, but I still can't tell if I'm going to beat it or not. Honestly, it's at a weird angle relative to the path I'm traveling on. So I figured I would just keep this camera rolling for a little bit and see if I could catch any of the lightning or anything like that. One thing to note is it's not quite nine o'clock and traffic is extremely dense. <laughs> here we are once again this is uh, well you might recognize this from the last part of the video a couple minutes ago when we were going the other direction at about 8 o'clock at night it's 7 o'clock in the morning now and I don't know what their deal is but they're pulled over there Let's hope everything's okay looks like they hit something um, yeah, so going the other way, we were looking out there and looking at the impressive features of the clouds and the sky. Uh, it was basically dark, so I don't know how much there was to see. But now we're going back up the same mountain that we, or hill if you will, that we crossed over in the last part of the video in the near dark. And I think this is going to get interesting because it kind of looks like either part way up or at the top uh, we're going to drive into the fog. So. Let's see if that is indeed the case. And then when we get to the top, we'll have a good lookout over the valley on the other side. Or we'll just see fog and we won't see anything. Thanks for watching and please remember to keep right and pass left.